Thanks, Kevin. That was, that was wonderful. Guys, I'm so stoked to be here. So I was, I was here two years ago in the audience, and I honestly never thought that I would be on this stage. I'm really humbled and excited to share this experience with you today. I have had professional experience using both Angular and React. To clarify, when I say Angular, what I really mean is AngularJS, but I've been using the word Angular so long, it's hard for me to, to say AngularJS, but I mean Angular 1. So I've, I first learned Angular at a boot camp called Dev Mountain. Um, I, I ended up teaching there for a while as well, teaching Angular. I worked for a startup called Sparrow doing React, and I currently work for Domo doing Angular. So this, this journey between these different frameworks is what I want to share with you today. Uh, but before we dive into that, I want to ask you guys a question. Have you ever had a phase in your development career where you've had difficulty defining who you are or, or what you do? Raise your hand if you feel like you've gone through that before. Maybe like, am I an Angular developer? Am I a front-end engineer? OK, so some of you, like pro probably like a third of you. Awesome. So, that's the experience that I want to share with you today, is my struggle with that. Early in my development career, I wanted to define myself by my framework. When I first learned Angular, I loved it to death. I thought it was so cool. I loved how quickly you could get a project up and running, and it was the first time that I felt like a real developer. It didn't take very long for me to hear about React, and technically I loved React. I thought it was very cool and a lot of the developers that I personally knew were moving towards React. Eventually, I got a full-time job doing React, and I defined myself as a React developer. For a while, everything was great. Until it wasn't anymore. <laughs> My circumstances changed, and I found that I was suddenly looking for a job. Fortunately, I was still in Utah, and there's a lot of opportunities here in Utah. It eventually boiled down to two different opportunities that I felt were, that, that was where I needed to make my decision. I could either do Angular with Domo or React with another company. Now this was a difficult decision for me because I felt like I defined myself as a React developer and so, so that other job kind of called to me but really, I felt like the opportunity at Domo was just an all-around better opportunity. It was a difficult decision for me, but I went with Domo. And I haven't regretted it. I've really enjoyed meeting the people there, and I've had wonderful experiences, especially for my personal development. But the transition was interesting for me. At first, I, I continued to define myself as a React engineer, as a React developer. It was difficult for me to swallow the fact that I was doing Angular as a React developer. But it didn't take too long, and I saw that my efforts were adding value to this company. And I decided, I don't want to be a React developer anymore. I don't want to be an anything developer. I just want to be a builder. An X developer is defined by his or her tools but a builder can simply use the best tool for the job. It's still okay to have a preference for tools, but issues arise when you are turning down otherwise worthy opportunities simply because those opportunities are using tools or frameworks that you don't define yourself with. And the most important thing is that you are providing value whether that's in your career or your open source projects or personal projects, your efforts should be helping you to accomplish the goals of those projects. Last, I, I want to talk directly to those who might be going this, through this kind of transition right now or in the coming months. I love this tweet because it perfectly communicates how practice and effort and skill will always be far more important than the tools that you use. You can provide value today in the projects that you're working on. Find the most ambitious and exciting opportunities that you can, 
and simply use whatever tech you can to fulfill those opportunities. Thank you. <laughs>